In this video, we're going to see how we can make our keyboard float. We can basically miniaturize our keyboard and float it around or move it around anywhere we want on our iPad. Let's see how we do this. Let's go to my iPad. Let's open up my Notes app. I'm going to start typing in here. When we do that, our keyboard pops up. Now what I would like to do is make this keyboard a little smaller. I'd like to float it above everything. How do we do that? Well, all we need to do is just go down to the lower right hand corner where we have our keyboard button here and we long press on it or tap and hold. We do not want to just tap on it. If we just tap on it, it's going to hide the keyboard. That's not what we want to do. But when I tap and hold on it or long press on it, we have a few options, one of them being floating. So now I just slide my finger up until it turns blue. I let go and watch what happens to this keyboard. It's going to become smaller here and we can move this around. All I have to do is just take this little horizontal line and I drag it where I want. So let's go ahead and move this around here. And we can see we can move it around. So now I can just start typing on here. Now you'll notice that this keyboard is a little bit small. Well, you can use slide to type. This is available on the iPhone. Well, we can also do it with this floating keyboard. So I'm going to type in here floating keyboard. I'm going to use slide to type. All I have to do is just slide my finger over the different letters. And we can see we have floating here. Let's go ahead and slide for keyboard. I'm just sliding my finger over the keyboard over the different letters. I never lift it up. And now we have our keyboard here. So we can use slide to type when we have this floating keyboard. Now how do we get it back to our standard keyboard? I want to bring it back to its full size. How do we do that? Well all we have to do is just drag this down to the bottom of our iPad. So I just take this horizontal line and I drag it down. And when I drag it down to the bottom, and now we have our full size keyboard again. So that's how we can use a floating keyboard on the iPad. All we have to do is just go to the keyboard button in the lower right hand corner. I long press on it and then select floating. When we do that, we get a smaller version of our keyboard. We're able to use slide to type. And if I want to go back to my full size keyboard, I just drag it down to the bottom of the iPad and it brings us back to our full size keyboard. So that's our floating keyboard we have available to us on the iPad.